Hi everyone, I hope you're doing okay, hope you're doing well. I'm currently at a season in my life where I am seeking God for leadership, for direction, and for clarity so concerning some of the steps that I would like to take regarding ministry, regarding business, and so on. And I just wanted to share some of the tips on, on how to hear from God because I know that many of us will probably be in that position where we are seeking God for guidance. What do I do next? How do I make the most of the situation I'm in? What are the what are the steps? What are the decisions that I need to take? And sometimes common sense or past experiences may not give us the, the right roadmaps that we need. And sometimes we just need to actually be still and listen to God. So there are there are a few things that have that have helped me and continue to help me. One of the, and it's from Habakkuk chapter two. The first thing is to set time aside to actually listen to God. You know, Abba, in, in Habakkuk said that I would go up to see what God will say to me. So taking that step of faith to actually set time aside, whether in prayer, in the time of worship, in reading the Bible, just setting that, just carving out that time. You know, it doesn't have to be days or hours, it might be a specific time to, to set aside that particular time to seek God. The second thing again is to be still. You know, try to God never speaks to us when we are worried. It's the best place to be able to hear God's voice and to assimilate what God is saying to us is in, is in that stillness, is in that quietness whereby we, we put our, ourselves at ease and trusting that you know what God is actually listening to us. The next thing is for us to actually be expectant to hear from God. That means apart from us setting that time being still we should actually expect to hear God and to hear God not in the way that we expect him to speak to us but in the way that he chooses to speak to us and the last thing is be precise with what you are seeking God for just don't don't, don't, don't be ambiguous with your with your with your search don't be ambiguous with your with what you want to know be, be very very precise what do you want from God what exactly are you seeking God for it might not it might not give you that exact thing that you're seeking him for but for you to be precise for you to know just like when you go to a mentor a counselor if you don't know exactly what you're seeking it's very difficult for you to get an answer or when you get the answer it's very difficult for you to know when the answer has actually come so be precise be focused so the first thing be set aside time the next thing is actually be still the third thing is be expectant and the fourth thing is be precise know exactly what you want I hope this has helped.